Hi everyone, my name is Dhritiman and we are going to review the Digisport 4K Ultra HD camera that we've recently taken on Amazon. The model number is DG8000 to be specific. There are two variants I guess in this, but uh, the one which we bought, we paid around 5500 on Amazon with some discount that we got. Uh, in this review, what we'll try and do is we'll first talk about the build quality of it. Then we'll talk a little about our experience or the features, how the overall product feels in terms of usability. Uh, we'll also possibly talk about the Wi-Fi uh, access on the smartphone, the pairing part. And uh, definitely we'll discuss who should be looking at it and why you should be looking at it or why you may not be looking at it. So uh, let's break it up further and take out the camera here. When it comes in the packing, as you might have uh, seen in our unboxing video, which we did earlier, uh, it comes housed within this waterproof casing and there is a couple of other options also available. To start with, when you hold this camera in your hand, you will feel it's very snugly fit. Uh, the borders are all, all uh, marked and graded in terms of a rubber mat finish. So it eliminates any chance of slip qu quickly. The front panel is very smooth and nice and it gives a very uh, fairly decent feel. Fish Islands of course is part of the action camera series uh, construction. Very standard uh, battery format and uh, micro SD card format, the charging point and the uh, HDMI out which is basically to pull out the data from there. The volume keys are on the sides as per the normal standard industry practice. So overall the build quality is fair to good or maybe a little good also. But it's not something that is completely different or unique anywhere. But it's a good uh, construction done. What definitely stands out as a plus is the panel, the LCD panel or the screen which you will be seeing. It's fairly a, a big as compared to some other models that I've come, seen earlier and also bigger than the one which I already have. That's one of the reasons why I've gone for an upgrade, that it's a 4K. There are, the photo in it is 16 megapixels versus the earlier one which I was using, which is 2.7K and uh, 12 megapixels. And uh, it's got 120 FPS, that is slow-mo uh, feature at uh, 720 uh, resolution, which is also a, a good deal to have. So, build-wise, I would possibly give it a rating of anything like 8 on 10, maybe there is scope for improvement in terms of uh, the feel, but it's a good build, so I can't take away any points from there. Uh, coming to the user part of it, or how did uh, the overall user feel be? As with any new device, uh, we had to go through it one or two times, but uh, the good thing is once the LCD lights up, the first thing that you will notice is that the LCD is rich in color. So it's uh, either got to do with the standard brightness settings or the overall make in itself. So the LCD is feel is good. The letters are quite legible, which is possibly because the screen size is a little bigger. Uh, why am I mentioning about this is that as it is the size is small, where do we use action cameras? Action cameras are generally used in asking and demanding situations, like maybe in front of a car when you're traveling, or in front of your bike or as a helmet camera or maybe for something which is behind the scenes. So it's going to be in trying conditions where your camera is going to be. So any kind of additional help is always welcome. Now let me tell you about its Wi-Fi and uh, Android app uh, pairing. Initially when I first was searching for the app, I didn't really find the app by the name Digisport itself. But the good thing is what I noticed is there's a QR code next to the box. So I did a QR scan and uh, what it threw up was XDV. I think that's the make of the camera. That's possibly the manufacturing make and this might be the brand name. So when I searched XDV on uh, Google uh, Play, I did find it and uh, I installed it on my phone. Uh, pretty simple installation. The good thing is it connects almost seamlessly when you switch on the Wi-Fi in the following steps. First, switch on the Wi-Fi on your device, then switch on Wi-Fi on your mobile. It will show you the device name, uh, which is the SSID. 
you click on it and then there is a default password i think it's 12345678 for possibly everyone and uh, it seamlessly connects and once it connects it's almost a cake walk you actually have the entire control of the camera back on your phone so you could control video you could control uh, it to start taking photos so it's quite a good thing and uh, the wifi range that i could test was almost about 20 30 feet easily i have not tested it beyond that so i'm not sure how far it goes i didn't find any specifications about its distance in the manual as such there is no manual so up to 20 30 feet you are good so it all boils down to the last question that you might have in your mind whether or not you should pick this up or not i am a professional photographer and i specialize in weddings travel and landscape a lot of my work doesn't need a action camera for the purpose of my work but it comes very handy and is an integral part of the kit that i carry action camera help me record things like time lapse my travel stories and a lot of my behind the scenes and i need some snippets from where i've shot how was the condition things like that so it comes very very handy and it's very easy plug and play type so you really don't have to get into a lot of settings and complications which typically come with a dslr and a, a high end uh, device so if your usage is for things like behind the scenes or trying to get a travel story or youtube videos then this is more than adequate besides the fact that it's def it's 4k so the resolution is going to be quite premium or if not premium quite good photo quality is definitely up for me from my previous device which was 12 megapixels versus now which is 16 so that will help me get that extra little mileage in terms of trying to push when i do a little bit of edit for my time lapses so if your work is something similar to this if you are a biker who needs uh, extra camera on your bike or front camera on your bike while you want to record your travel journeys uh, this is something that you can definitely look at to sum it up for you the build quality is quite fine and good uh, the battery that you get is only one which is standard what uh, i might have missed mentioning before is that there is no dedicated battery charger that you get it is possibly industry standard with most of these action cameras in this price range of sub 10000 so that should not be a deal breaker because if you are getting into action camera kind of uh, work you should know or you might already know that one battery is never enough you might need multiple batteries like two three batteries for any trip that you start so uh, additional charger and extra batteries is something that you will have to buy along with this which is a top as i said the features are uh, easy to use both in terms of using it right on the camera as well as controlling uh, 4k video or uh, slow-mo video or time lapse or anything both from the device as well as from your uh, mobile phone although personal experience is that using a lot of wi-fi tends to drain the battery so you may want to use it only in absolutely necessary conditions for example you want to uh, kind of hide away from the scene and then remote manage your camera it's a very good option that you have which you could use price point at about five and a half to six and a half thousand rupees it's quite nice considering the fact that just about a year and a half back i paid almost 10000 for a 2.7k camera 12 megapixel camera versus what i am getting now is a 4k 16 megapixel with all what i had got earlier also so yes it's got a lot of weightage in terms of value for money but you'll also have to remember that this is not an extreme pro kind of a device so there you go that is what is our first take on it uh, i will possibly add some uh, screenshots of the ad in this either in this video or put the link somewhere you can have a look at it i'll also try and put some footage that we've shot on this uh, somewhere in the links below and you can look at them also so that's about it for now so this was dg sport 4k wi-fi camera uh, 